Today, I want to talk about something that I'm working towards myself. And whenever I make these videos, I'm going to always come from a place to where I'm right there with you on this journey. A lot of experts, uh, creatives, uh, people with things to share, a lot of times they don't include themselves. Um, they will act as if they have surpassed where they're trying to take you. Um, but it's a journey that um, they are also going through themselves. And um, I think being truthful is, is, is better received. So a few weeks back, I came across a definition of happiness that really did something to me. And it made the most sense out of everything that I've come across in this life to explain what happiness is. And I'm going to read it to you. Um, this is called, uh, I'm calling this Melaninated Life Lessons. And the reason why is because these lessons have been taught to me by melaninated people. This particular person, um, his books have altered and changed my life for the better. Ra'un Afir Amin. Happiness as described by this master teacher is described as enjoying something when you have it and being at peace when you don't have it. So pleasure plus peace equals happiness. So when you have something, you enjoy it. You be present with that moment. But when you don't have it, it's like we still have to be at peace. And that looks like a whole bunch of things. You know, we've always been told certain things about happiness. Happiness is that perfect relationship, that perfect home, that nice car, you know, these the friendships and relationships. This is what creates happiness. Um, and I'm gonna give you some examples of people um, not being at peace when they don't have. The number one example that I can give is comparing yourself to others, especially on social media. A lot of times we be com um, comparing ourselves to complete strangers, people we don't even know. We don't know the backstory, we just see what we see. And we allow that to um, aggravate us and get us agitated. Um, so if you find yourself aggravated, oh, sorry, y'all, somebody calling. Um, if you find yourself aggravated by the things that you see on social media, it's time for you to take a break and take some time to ground yourself into something that is is the is true and is real. And the truth of the matter is grounding yourself in something that's true, whatever that looks like for you, whatever you naturally gravitate towards and resonate with. Here's the truth of the matter though about competition. It's not real. Competition is is not real. It's something that's made up by people who don't think um or don't know how to function on, on higher levels. When you ground yourself in the truth, you realize that we all connected. So we all connected, there's no competition. That is a lie that we have bought into, okay? 
Um, another example of that is wishing you were somewhere or in some condition other than your current. So being present and learning acceptance, if you are able to do that, you will go through a lot less grief in this life because in life, things don't always turn out the way we want them to, to turn out. So what do you do? You sit there and get frustrated, get your pressure up, um, mess up your body inside because you're stressed out, harming, doing harm to yourself instead of being present and just accepting what it is. It's been some hard truths that I have discovered. One of those other truths was, it's nothing good or bad, it is experiences. That's what I was taught. And I was like, huh, there's nothing good or bad, it's just experiences. It's all about your perception. So it's better to be at peace and have a peace of mind than aggravating yourself about things from the past and future. Let's see. Um, another thing is how you know that a person is not happy. They're not at peace uh, with what they have. It's people that constantly complain. All the time, they are complaining. Now, we, you know, we go through things in life and it's natural to have grievances every now and then, but somebody that is constantly complaining is not someone that is at peace with what is. And if you are entertaining someone like that out of love, you would let them know that that is, as they say, low vibrational. That's like a low vibrational plate of food you complaining all the time because it brings others down. And at the end of the day, if we're not talking about a solution, I don't wanna just be talking to somebody complaining. So that's another reason. Um, nobody wanna hear all that complaining. Um, the other thing, and the last thing that I'm gonna speak of is especially in this society that we live in where people have access to a lot more material things and wealth that they've ever had before is wishing you had better material possessions than what you have, whether it be your car, whether it be your house, whether it be your clothing. Being at peace with where you at will Put in your head to say, look, I'm thankful for the car that I have. It may not be the car, it might, might not be my dream car, but I'm, I'm happy in this moment that I have transportation. And this house that I'm living in, it might not be the dream house for me, but guess what? I am thankful that I have a roof over my head, that, it, that I have a place that I can be warm when it's cold outside where I can be go in and cool off when it's hot outside, where I could take a hot shower. If it's not the clothes you want, be thankful for the clothes that you have and have pride in every single thing that you have. So if you driving a hoopty, make sure your hoopty clean. Get it, take it for regular maintenance. If your house is not where you want it to be, work on it little by little until you can make it comfy for the here and now instead of sitting there despising something and wishing you had something better treat what you have with pride and gratitude and you'll see how other uh, opportunities for you to actually attract what you really want how that open up for you when you're grateful in the moment so recap, happiness is when you have something, um, be happy, be present, enjoy it. 
And when you don't have, be at peace. Be at peace with it. Be okay with it. Make the best of it. And um, like I said, this is something um, that you don't just learn and you get it. You're going to always have opportunities in life, experiences that test you to see. Are you going to let things get you down because certain things are not going your way? Are you going to accept certain things and be at peace? As not direct havoc in your body and to learn how your natural state is a peaceful state. And it's not so um, moved by the things that's happening on the outside, if you understand what I mean. But again, like I said, these are truths that I'm learning. And I'm like, wow, you know, I want to share these things in hopes that they help someone else. So out of the love I have, I'm sharing and putting that love into the world. I hope this feeds your soul and helps you on your journey. This is Soul Seed, Soul Seed TV. And um, yeah, see y'all on the next video.